I'm Dr. Glaison and I'm um, leading the, the course on um, the MSC Sustainable Energy Solutions. Yeah, I would say that the, the course gives a good insight of the renewable energy. Um, it is not as such an engineering course, so we don't go into the details of the engineering, it's not too heavy in mass as well. It's, it's a blend of modules. Uh, we have three core modules and then we have an optional module, so the student can uh, tailor the, their choice of modules depending on their backgrounds and what they aim for as well. So the, some students are more oriented towards the, the um, socio-economics, some on the technology uh, or some on the, the environment. Uh, so we can, we can deliver for any of the students their needs. The course has been uh, delivered online for the past 10 years and the objective is to, to teach about the new type of energy, the renewable energy, and it's articulated around the four main themes. Uh, we look at the, um, the energy resources, the technology, the environmental impact and the socio-economics. Uh, it's aimed to students that want to develop a career in, the, in re renewable energy and also for students that want to convert themselves. So we had a number of students, for instance, working for the oil and gas energy and then wanted to know a bit more about the renewable energy. The course is entirely delivered online, so it's suitable for students that are, for instance, part-time students. It's also suitable for students that have, for instance, family commitments or students that are remote as well geographically. We have, for instance, students from all over the world. We had students uh, in Estonia, in the Caribbean islands and even in New Zealand. There are some, yes, uh, we have particularly a module that, that is designed for, for placing students so they can connect with the industry and we have also, uh, we're introducing a, mo a mentoring system as well for students that want to engage with, uh, with industrials. Or... The course looks really at the, um, at the future of energy because we are located in Scotland as well. Uh, Scotland is a vibrant place for, the, uh, for renewable energy. It has all possible resources you can imagine, the hydropower, the wind, the marine energy. As an example, the, uh, the site behind is the Beatrice Offshore Wind Farm. It's one of the largest uh, wind farm in the, in the UK because it has a capacity of 588 megawatts. We can engage with industry partners or uh, stakeholders, can give an opportunity to the students to, to step uh, in their, their future career. There are a few career opportunities, of course, as I, as I mentioned, for the, um, in the industry, the renewable energy industry. It can be all sorts uh, of industry. It can be also um, to work for um, uh, governmental bodies, uh, for the regulations of industries. Yes, everything that is linked to the uh, to the wind, to the renewable energy. My background is uh, in oceanography, so I worked for different aspects linked to the oceanography, like for instance the, the water quality of the, the coastal area, uh, the sediment transport. Marine energy is also very interesting to me. I look, for instance, at the, the wave energy, which is uh, blooming at the moment because it's uh, full of possibilities. Uh, it's a new technology, so there is uh, a lot of expansions to, to be made on this. Uh, on, on this domain. But also I've expanded a little bit more of all sorts of energy because I found it fascinating. How are we going to, to engage with our societies, so the transformations of uh, energy production in our societies to mitigate the climate change and to, uh, to deal with the, uh, the, the depletions of fossil fuel as well. And so you have the, the creativity of the uh, uh, of the energy productions that we, we, we need to, to find, how it fits with our society, with the demand and, uh, and with the, the economics as well. So I think it's a, it's a really um, an interesting topic for the future.